Hi everybody and welcome to Soft Body. So Soft Body, I was doing my usual peruse of the Steam New Games storefront section thing and I seen Soft Body and I clicked on the link and I said, what is Soft Body? And the game, it jumped out at me, it said to me, it said, Tam, do you like meditative action games with bullet tail and cool minimalist visuals and ambient music? And I said, yes, Steam, yes, Gaben, I do like those things, thank you for asking. And, um, and here's Soft Body, I, I bought the game. Um, with my own monies to see what it was like and man, it's really cool. It's actually really cool And I'm surprised more people aren't talking about it because it is the kind of thing that really vibes well with me Some of you may know I used to make a lot of ambient music I mean I technically still could if I wanted to but I don't you know I, I make videos of video games now This is what I do, but in the past I'm a big fan of ambient music. I like meditative experiences with cool visuals nice music and you know, throw some bullet hell in there and big time's happy. So I seen the game and I thought I'll give it a wee try. And um, here we are. So it's available on Steam. Has been for a couple of weeks now. And it's uh, a cost of £10 or I think $13 or your regional equivalent. And it, it is what it says. It's a meditative action game where you control two, as the Steam page says, beautiful gooey snakes at the same time in the game. And uh, you paint the world with their body. And as you do, the world changes around you and reveals new obstacles and challenges. So it's almost like a puzzle game. What I'll do is I'll take you through the tutorial and you'll see what I'm saying. Recommended heavily to use a gamepad here. I think the game only works with a gamepad. So, your soft body can paint walls with the left analog stick. Boom! Done! Easy, easy as pie. You'll see. Not too much of a challenge here. The game does ramp up in difficulty. There is a new game plus also. But really all we're doing is we're painting shit with our, with our wormy, gooey, sludgy body, which is pretty cool. Now, a game like this, you can run this on a toaster, basically. It says on the Steam page, uh, all you need is a graphics card, maybe within the last six years. OS, you need Windows 7 minimum, so if you can run Windows 7 on your laptop or computer, you can play this game. And, um... Here we have... Uh, merge with your ghost body and push the ball. Indeed. So, we've made a double worm, gooey fella. Come on, ball. There we go. And we do this. Now, this is, like, easy territory. This ain't hard at all. This is, like, the simple baby stuff. This is the tutorial. You see. Well, there's I'll take you through the tutorial. Maybe do a couple of the, um... The soft mode levels, and then we'll do hard mode. Just to show you the, the difference, the variance in level difficulty. So you want to make sure you're interacting with all the stuff. And there will become points where there's things that shoot at you. Enemies that move. Bullet hell. Actual bullet hell and stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Now, while I'm speaking and commentating, I'm probably not going to slip into the same type meditative state that you would zen-like, as they say, zen-like. I was playing this last night, though, and I found myself very quickly slipping into a... almost a one-more-try type situation, like, you're playing through levels and it's so enjoyable that you don't actually mind getting hit by a bullet, you're like, fuck it, I'll do it again, I'll do it again. And you see this bullet hell here? That ain't even bullet hell, that's easy stuff, that's easy territory. We, we were born in bullet hell, we know how to deal with bullet hell. If I bop off these fellas, give them to shoot. Boop. Boop. We can kill them, as it says. Pop enemies with your ghost, indeed. And this is really just laying down the kind of the the skills required to get through some of the harder levels. We're learning. We're learning piece by piece. So let's grab our gooey pal here. Pop you. Pop you. Make our lives a little bit easier. Oh, hello, boys. So as soon as we touch this thing, as you see, it's gonna go ham. Musically or um, audibly, I suppose. Uh, audibly. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. There we go. Get rid of him. Ah, he's birthing a new man. Uh -huh. Steady. Boop. Done. It reminds me a lot of. Um, oh, what's that bloody game called? There's like. <laughs> shit. There's a game where it's essentially just. Um, Kind of generative audio when you're playing through the game, you change things on the screen and it changes the music, and it's all really cool. The music kind of reminds me of that. Any kind of ambient -y game, we'll say Proteus for instance, it kind of has a, a similar vibe in terms of music as that. Although there's a lot more game than say Proteus, there's a lot more going on. There's puzzles, there's things to do, you know, bullet hell to avoid. I think the, the addition of the bullet hell really ties it all together because without the bullet hell, without the, the mad panic of shit, I'm gonna get hit by something. Use the right analog stick to move the secondary sludgy gooey worm of justice. But if this is your kind of bag, like I definitely recommend. If you like these these types of games, and I, and I really do like these type of games, I'm, I'm much of a 
much of a fan of things that are ambient. Ah, oh, balls. Okay, steady. Careful. There we go. Just aim it around. Now, this is still easy territory. This ain't, this ain't tough. Oh, balls. This ain't tough at all. It gets much, much, much more challenging. To be nice and slow and steady. Oh, watch yourself. It's all about bobbing and weaving, fellas. It's all about bobbing and weaving. Don't get hit. Don't fuck with the shit. See, it's, it's transferable skills from Nuclear Throne, you see? Nice. Very nice indeed. And you'll see the progressive difficulty increase, so I'll. Where's me? Where are There's my counterpart. Right, hold on, hold on. We need to. Vanquish this fella. Turn these fellas on. I'm sorry my commentary isn't too, uh, <laughs> isn't too good, but it does require a bit of concentration, not gonna lie. There's a bit of thinking involved. You gotta use the noggin. Chapter 1. Aha. Uh -huh. So we'll do a few levels of these, then I'll actually go into the hard mode. There is a setting in the options menu, which I think is really cool, is that you can unlock everything in the options menu. Um, you, can, you can give yourself all the hard levels and stuff from the get-go. So if that is your intention, if you want to buy the game and play just the hard levels, if that's what you want to experience, you could perfectly do that. There's no problem at all. Slow tight. Slow tight. You see. Aha. Right, okay, so we need to get rid of these fellas in the middle here before they fuck our shit up. Ha. Uh -huh. Knew it. Knew it all along. You, and then that should give us easy passage to the square at the bottom. There we go. So it's kind of like, I think the best way to describe it is it's like dealing with a set of enemies, dealing with a puzzle, and then getting the objective to where it needs to be. I guess it's a, it's a kind of a decent way to describe what you're doing in each level. So we're, you know, we're doing the objective, which is illuminating all the things, I guess you would say, is our objective. We're avoiding the enemies. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Dealing with the objectives, of course. Avoiding the bullet hell. And then getting an objective to where it needs to be. And it's it, it feels good. I think the main thing, the, the main focal point of the game being that you control the worm, the sludgy, gooey, wormy fella. You would think, yo, that needs to control well. If it doesn't control well, then what's the bloody point? And it does! That's the thing, it feels really good. I'm not a gamepad player, like, I don't like gamepads at all. I say I don't, I, I don't mind gamepads, I guess. But I'm more of a keyboard and mouse type guy, you know, with the one-shots, the one-taps, the fucking aim is a bit precision. But, um, it, it feels really good with the gamepad. More than happy to be controlling my gooey worms with said gamepad. Congratulations. Thank you, game. Thank you. Trying my best. So we need to be careful here, because we're going to get sniped! We're about to get sniped! So we want to be over here waiting for our... ...ball. Now we can see, incrementally, the... ...the guns, the turrets charging. But that's fine, we're okay. We'll get through this. Woo! Feels good. Again, though, these are like the baby levels. This ain't shit, this is like... ...circle blocks, indeed. So... Once again, we play the objective. Make sure we're not getting hit by the bullet hell. I say bullet hell, but it's not really hell. It's more like bullet inconvenience <laughs> more than anything else. At this stage, at least. Because, um, you know, I play a lot of Nuclear Throne. Um, I've been known to play... Well, I play Gungeon. I play bullet hell -y games. I enjoy bullet hell. I know about the bobbing and, indeed, the weaving. And in this case, it's, it's so much more of a... Just a relaxing... You know, it's, it's like... When you want to play Bullet Hell, but you don't actually want to play Bullet Hell, you just want to play something a bit more... A bit more passive. Did I get tapped? I got one tapped! Oh fuck, I got tapped again. It's fine though. It's fine. We're not too worried about it. We're not too worried. So we want to try and get all of these fell- Oh fuck. I should have expected that. When you see the ball that's the double ball or the triple ball, you know, the minute you touch it, it's gonna, you know, fire shit at you. None of that fish. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Steady! 
Sniper turret. There we go. Solid play. That's how it's done, fellas. That's the fucking, that's the hot sauce, that is. It just feels good. It just makes you feel good when you do it. It's... I don't know whether it's the bullet hell gives the appearance of difficulty, but it doesn't feel tough, but it still feels satisfying when you beat the level. Right, so this is when things can, uh, you know, take a turn for the, uh, the scary. Controlling two things at once. We're in uh, Brother a uh, what's it called? Uh, Brothers a Tale of Two Sons. Is that the name of the game? I, f I forget. The, the game where you control two things with analog sticks. Two things! They're actually, they're, you know, sentient beings. You control the two brothers individually, one with the left stick, one with the right stick. Ah, balls. Go for it! Go ahead! I've got it! Oh, what's ah, there we go! Solid! Oh, try again! Right, hold on. Th this is where, this is where shit gets real for me. Right, I think the best thing to do is, right, round in circles with this. Right, okay, so... Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, so I, I want to be constantly moving with the left stick, but... <laughs> uh, ooh Get into that, oh, balls! Don't... Right, so I want to be moving with the left stick, that's fine. I'm gonna be doing this. If I can move them around at the same time... Hop! Hop! Yeah, yep, yeah, there we go, that's the fuck, that's the sauce there, that's the one, that's the fella. So it's all about finding that sweet spot of knowing that I want to move both analog sticks at the same time, because if I do that then, you know, if I'm moving in circles, wax on, wax off. Give it to Mr. fucking Miyagi. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Right, fucking who's next? Glide around the room. Right, we're going to slow down a little. Slow down the pace. So we just want to give it the old one of these, the old how's your father, one, two, there we go. Oh, balls. Ah, speed up, and there you go. Objective number one complete. Ah, fuck. It almost reminds me of, you know those games where you get the, I don't even know what you would call it, it's like, almost like a, it's like the electric fucking wire and the tuning fork, and you have to guide it around the wire without touching it. It's like playing Operation, but on the fucking wire thing. It almost reminds me of that. There's kind of like that similar vibe of, I want to get it to the end point without being hit, without touching the stuff. Ooh. That is indeed a beep. Notage. We're, we're getting notes, boys. We're getting notes. Right, we're about to get shot at by... Excuse me. We're about to get shot at by things. I think I can push this all the way around without being touched by the stuff. Nice. I'm gonna come around here. Give it the old one, two. Oh, balls. Committed far too heavily. It's fine, though. It's fine, though. It feels good. That's how it's done, that is. Again, though, this is just the easy territory. This is just the easy stuff. It does become far more... Wait, what? Oh, fuck, I touched the same one twice. Double tapped. Ah, oh, fuck. Right, we got a dodge well. And dodge proud. Are they extinguishing my stuff? Right, boys, we're in, we're in. Ah! Okay, we'll try this one again. Hop, hop, hop. So we want to get these done as soon as possible. I think I can sneak around here. Oh, wait, they're touching my stuff. Right, hold on. Hop, hop. Fuck. Balls. Dicks. Yeah, there we go. Right, let's push this sucker around, fellas. While trying to avoid ye oldie bullet hell. It's not really bullet hell yet, though. As I said, it's not bullet hell yet. We're fine. We're alive. We're doing We're doing the thing. We're doing the thing. Right, there's the gonad and then the secondary gonads in the middle here. Oh, fuck. Right, the balls are touching. And when balls brush, it's no good. Huh. Alright, there we go. We're out. We're out in the open. Ah, it's bad. Ah, I think we've got one life left. We've got one more hit before we get shafted into oblivion, but it's fine though because I came prepared. I came prepared. Congratulations, thank you, thank you, game spin. I can do that. Now we're starting to get to the point where things are opening up a little. We're getting a bit open-ended. We're getting bigger levels. We're getting more variety of. I don't want to say bullshit, because it's not really bullshit yet. Get more variety of bullets, bullet inconvenience. 
I want to get in here and tap these two fellas. Is that us? Is that? It's not bad at all, right? I think what we'll do is turtles, will we? Okay, we'll do turtles first, I guess. It'd be rude not to. Can I, uh... No. I was hoping I could tap those fellas, but... Go get the dodge in. Go get the dodge in. Ah, there we go. Boom. Up, oh, balls. Dicks. Now we can touch these fellas. Before they cause... Oh my god, they're... Now we're getting to the point where things are getting a bit spicy. Ah, wait, wait, I disagree. Oh, I've got a new strategy, new plan. New plan is... We use the slower speed to give ourselves the the goods. There we go. Ah, ah, okay, it's just the ball. It's our ball. Dex, it's fine though. It's fine, it's good, it's good. It's great, right, okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll go back to um, the menu and I'll show you some of these harder levels. So, hard game, difficult mind splitting levels. This is where I'm gonna get fucked on. Best time, 32.85. Uh -huh. Ooh, press triangle for a uh, hard game plus. I don't wanna do that yet, but we'll give this a little, we'll give this a little go. So, we got two worms. This is when things start to get a bit more spicy. Um, now, you notice the blue worm here is different to the red. I cannot merge them both, they do not merge together. Um, I control both independent of one another. This is the red and the uh, the blue. So I believe Pinky won't, you know, touch Pinky, but blue will do Pinky. And you'll begin to see why, you know, why it becomes meditative. We're gonna get to a point where uh, you need to be fully like in the zone, otherwise shit's gonna be bad. <laughs> So, I'm being sniped. Let's get the old. I swear to God, every bullet hell game, the key is the Mr. Miyagi, or at least, you know, top down bullet hells. I call the Mr. Uh, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. I call the Mr. Miyagi, it's the wax on wax off, it's going round in circles to great effect. Oh, fuck. I'm so bad at this. I'm so bad at controlling two things at once. Right, think, think, think. No, that's wrong way. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, ah. Okay, so down and up. And then that's the right way. And then we're going to go like this. And then we're going to go... Oh. Keep that going. Keep it going. Yep. Put the more set. Up, 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 up. This is when it starts to get my brain. Like, I, I can't. This is why I would never be a good drummer. This is why I would always suck as a drummer. Like, I'm fine here, right? This work makes sense in my head, and it's like, change. It's like, whip, whip, whip. Yep, yep. Oh, balls. Nope, run, run away, run. I've got it. I've got it. Move one at a time. One at a time is the fucking answer. Oh, it's good. None of that fish. Right, I'm, I'm guessing that right analog stick fella. Yes, I knew it. Q hit it now? No. So we need to wait to come around. Come around town. So move you up here. Ah! Oh, ooh. Oh, uh, uh, oh, fuck! Balls! <laughs> I almost had it! Right, okay, so... You wanna just... Take your time! I'm not sure how many... Passes are required. Ah, there we go. Oh! I'm doing two things at once. I am a man who can multitask! It's unheard of. No, 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 it's unfair. <laughs> it's not unfair, it's perfectly fair. 
It's perfectly fair, and I'm hamstrung by my own inability as a silly person. As someone who can do two things at once, right, okay. The thing is, though, it's not, it's not frustrating at all, I'll tell you, it's just not frustrating. Usually a hallmark of, of relatively difficult games, particularly puzzly, bullet helly kind of shit, is that you get kind of frustrated by either the game being unfair or your own inability. Probably, fuck it, let me play it again. Whether it's, it's a personal thing or not, I'm not sure, but I like the feeling of my own improvement. Everyone likes to feel, you know, the feeling of their own improvement. But as I play a little bit and a little bit more and a little bit more of a level that I don't initially understand, and then I begin to see what it was that I was doing wrong, that feeling of personal growth is, um, is, is good. It's a good feeling. So I need to wait for one more pass. Juggling the two gooey worms of justice. Fuck. Get the sucker in. Oh! Congratulations, and that's the word you want to see. Congratulations, thank you, game. I'm trying my best here. Ah, triangles. Alright, so in this one, I need to do two things at once again. Ah, fuck. So he chases me when he's in triangle form. While he's a ball, I don't mind. And look, I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling like I, I'm I'm more in control. I feel like I'm doing better again. Congratulations! Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Four circles, you see. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna control them both at the same kind of side. Right. Fuck. So Blue Man can destroy the, um, I'm pretty sure Blue Man can do these guys, yeah. And you just need to avoid being shot by the things. It's all about the dodging, boys, it's all about the dodging. Rotating circles. Alright. So things are going to be tough here, I reckon. Things are going to be a bit spicy. Yep, knew it. Knew it since day one, what if I... Nope, okay, so we can't do that. So there's no merging of the, the gooey snakes. No merging at all. Right, we need to be careful here. Ah! I said, I said careful, Tam, not fuck it into the... Wait, hold on, what if I just stand here and do this? What if I just do this? Oh. Game says yes. <laughs> brain, no brain! Why brain? Why? Why? <laughs> why? Why are two thumbs so difficult to control? I think there's something in this though. If I stay close here then, you know, there's not as much movement required. I think you just have to keep moving in circles. Game says yes. I think the key here is if you if you're as bad as me, move one at a time. Not bad, and it just feels good. It feels good to do things like that. I don't know why. It's a very satisfying experience. Which makes it tragic that not enough people are talking about this game. I've hardly seen anyone fucking mention it. Like, normally you would at least see, you know, the odd, the usual kind of people making videos of games like this and stuff. But even on Steam, it's only got nine reviews. It's like, well, why, are, why are people not enjoying this? It fulfills so many, it ticks so many boxes of things that I actually enjoy in life. That it's, um, you know. It feels like I found a hidden gem. It, that's, that's what it feels like. It feels like I found a hidden gem. Alright, what, what, right, hold the, hold the fucking telephones. What the fuck? Right, hold on, so. So this fell up here is a sniper. So what I need to do is get Blue Man over here.
And hopefully with my other gooey snake being hidden at the side. Yes. Oh no, not yes. Ah, oh, fuck. Because we put together the pieces of what we learned, we learned that some worms can do some things, some worms can't. You can do things like destroy the blocks with the blue guy, but not the green guy. And you learn these things, you know, you build up a... You build up a, a, a catalog of things. A repertoire of methods to deal with levels. And then you call upon your, uh, you know, what you've learned to be the level. So with this... Okay, so this moves with the pink. So if I'm moving pinky... Blue man. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I think we'll make this the last one for the video. But I thought it'd be good to do a video just to show you the, the, the game itself. Because it's, it's such an interesting um, take on Bullet Hell. That was very close. Very close to disaster. Ah! Sniped! Sniped a peach. Right. Oh, wait, why would I do that? I, I actually guided the bullet into him. I sabotaged my own gooey snake. Why would one do this? Why would why would we do that? Oh, wait, hold on. Steady. Right, careful of the bullets. Nice. Ah! Okay, this one's, this one's going to be a tough one for me. This one's gonna be a tough one. I I know what I need to do. Hold on, let's go this side first. Ah! Controlling two things at once is just not in my. It's not one of my things. I wish it were. I wish my brain could handle. I mean, I guess with practice. Why would I do that? With a lot of practice and you know playtime, I would imagine you could rattle through this game fairly quickly. Like, I, I would actually watch a speedrun of this game. I would find that interesting to see how, um... How people handle it, because it's not like a... Fuck. It's not like the kind of game that, you know, relies on RNG or anything like that. It's like, basically, if you are skillful as fuck, it would be really fun to watch someone just rattle through these levels very, very quickly. Watching them, uh, you know, show off their muscle memory. It's a tough one. It's a spicy one, it is. Balls! But hell's fucking bells, man. Right, I can do this. I mean, I can do the first part. It's demonstrably, you know, possible. I can show you that I've done the first part. Ah, but you wouldn't believe it if you just watch me now. Right. We can do this. All I need to do is, right, let's go bottom first. Bottom first seem to... Seem to be the ticket. Ah, oh, I went too hard on the blue. Never go too hard on the blue. It's all about moderation, fellas. It's all about moderation. It's all about a little bit at a time. Give it a little tickle. I think the key here might actually be speed. As in going fast, not the drug. Although, who am I to say otherwise? Ah! Who am I to say? If you want to be big fucking Lemmy from Motorhead, who am I to say? Fine then. Ah! Huh? Oh. Ah! No! 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 Wait, hold on, I want to test something. Okay, yes, it's true. I I'd been on the line so many times, I was like, does it actually, is the circle really, is the inner circle the problem? Or is it part of the solution? Who knows? Right, I want to put you, like, here. So I can do this. I'll put you here like this. Right, grip, grip up, grip up, grip up, worms. Ah, oh, fuck. Right, who moves the thing, though? Blue guy? I think, th I think we're in the...
Boop. Yes. And that's how it's done. That's how it's done. And it feels good. It feels good. So this is Soft Body. It's available on Steam. Has been for a few weeks now. As I said, it costs £10 or $13 or your regional equivalent. And it's a pretty cool game. I recommend it. It's really cool. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, all the usual good stuff. And I will see you next time.